Now, we will explore the foundational concepts of basic arithmetic, which are essential for understanding how to manipulate numbers and solve everyday problems. Arithmetic helps us solve practical problems without always relying on a calculator. It's like mental math that you use for counting money, splitting a bill, or timing events. The four main operations in arithmetic are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Let's break down the meanings of each operation symbol. Addition The addition symbol is plus. It means putting things together. For example, if you find $5 on the ground and you already have $3, you add them together to know that you have $8 in total. Subtraction The subtraction symbol is minus. It means taking away. For instance, if you have five candies and give two to a friend, subtraction tells you that you are left with three candies. Multiplication The multiplication symbol is times. It often means groups of. For example, if you have four bags and each bag contains five apples, multiplication helps you find out that you have 20 apples. Division The division symbol is divided by. This operation splits something into smaller parts. For instance, if you have 10 cookies and 5 friends, division tells you that each friend gets 2 cookies. Example 1. Addition. Let's start with an example of addition. Imagine you have 2 comic books, and then you buy 4 more comic books. How many comic books do you have now? We begin with 2 comic books. Now, add 4 more comic books to this. The total number of comic books you have is 6. So, 2 plus 4 equals 6. Example 2. Multiplication. Now, let's look at an example of multiplication. Suppose you have three packs of stickers, and each pack contains six stickers. How many stickers do you have in total? First, understand that one pack contains six stickers. Now, multiply the number of stickers in one pack by three, which is the total number of packs. The result is 18 stickers in total. So, six times three equals 18. Practice problem one. Saving money. Let's solve a practice problem. If you save $4 each day for 7 days, how much money do you save in total? First, understand that you save $4 every day. Now, multiply $4 by 7, the total number of days. The result is $28 saved. So, 4 times 7 equals 28. Practice problem 2. Dividing cupcakes. Now, let's look at a division problem. You have 12 cupcakes, and you want to share them equally among four friends. How many cupcakes does each friend get? First, recognize that you have 12 cupcakes in total. Now, divide 12 by 4, the number of friends. The result is that each friend will get 3 cupcakes. So, 12 divided by 4 equals 3. 1. You find 3 seashells and then find 2 more. How many shells do you have in total? 2. You have $20, and a book costs $6. How much money do you have after buying the book? 3. You have 5 packs of cards, each with 10 cards. How many cards do you have? 4. You have 16 pieces of candy and 4 pockets. If you put an equal number of candies in each pocket, how many candies go into each pocket? 5. You buy 3 boxes of crayons, and each box costs $2. How much money did you spend? Let's go over the answers to the quiz questions. 1. You find 3 seashells and then find 2 more. How many shells do you have in total? The answer is 5 shells. Here's why. You started with 3 shells, and then you found 2 more. When you add 3 and 2 together, the total is 5. So, you now have 5 seashells. 2. You have $20, and a book costs $6. How much money do you have after buying the book? The answer is $14. To explain. You began with $20, and after purchasing the book for $6, you subtract 6 from 20, leaving you with $14. 3. You have 5 packs of cards, each with 10 cards. How many cards do you have? The answer is 50 cards. Here's why. Each pack has 10 cards, and since you have 5 packs, you multiply 5 by 10, which equals 50. So, you have 50 cards in total. 4. You have 16 pieces of candy and 4 pockets. If you put an equal number of candies in each pocket, how many candies go into each pocket? The answer is 4 candies per pocket. To explain, you are dividing 16 pieces of candy into 4 pockets. When you divide 16 by 4, you get 4 candies in each pocket. 5. You buy 3 boxes of crayons, and each box costs $2. How much money did you spend? The answer is $6.
Here's the explanation. You purchase three boxes, and each box costs two dollars. To find out the total cost, you multiply three by two, which equals six. So, you spent six dollars.